this video, we will look at the code G69 nibbling line. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications every time a new video is released. As we continue our look at the patterns available to us, in this video, we will be discussing G69 nibbling line. We can define G69 as follows. Starting from either the current position or a point designated by G72, a line of length I is nibbled using a punch of diameter P at a pitch Q with an angle J in relation to the x-axis. The parameters for G69 are I, J, P, Q. As we explain in video number 13 covering G68 nibbling arc, there are two modes in which the machine can deliver hits onto a sheet of material, punching mode and nibbling mode. If you haven't viewed that video, please click on the link. Basically, the nibbling mode was created to speed up the punching process in older types of machines which used a clutch and brake system to activate the RAM. This in turn imposed some limitations on when we can use this mode. G69 nibbling line is another code that will function in this nibbling mode. Let's break this down. I is the length of the line from the center of the first hit to the center of the last hit. J is the angle of the line. P is the tool diameter. Q is the pitch or distance between the hits. If we look at this example, we have a line whose starting point is X10, Y7. The length of the line is 9 inches from the center of the first hit to the center of the last hit. The angle of the line is 33 degrees and the tool used is a 1 inch round in station T313. We also see the pitch specified is 0.25 inches between hits. As we specified earlier, the G68 code is in nibbling mode and therefore we must consider the two limitations. The first is that the material thickness must be greater than 0.125 inches or 3.2 millimeters. This is fine as we will be using 0.060 inch thick material for this example. The second limitation is that the pitch Q must be between the material thickness and the maximum allowable nibbling pitch for our particular machine. Remember, each machine has its own maximum nibbling pitch. Please refer to your machine manual for this number. We will be using a PEGA 357 and the maximum nibbling pitch for this machine is 0.315 inches or 8 millimeters. The drawing specifies a pitch of 0.25, which is less than 0.315, so in this case we can use G69. Let's go to punch sim and write a program. G72, X10, Y7, which is the starting point of the line, G69, I9, which is the length of the line, J33, which is the angle of the line, P1, which is the diameter of the tool used. Depending on the sign of P, we can offset to the right or to the left of the line. If we look at the direction of the line, a right offset will be negative and a left offset will be positive. A zero value will punch on the line without any offset. In this case, we want the punch to the left, so the P will be positive. Q. 0.25, which is the pitch or distance from hit to hit. Let's simulate our program. If you want more information on the punch sim software, visit cncsoft.com. Once again, we can see that the pitch will determine the scallop bite and finish. The smaller the pitch, the smoother the finish, but it will mean more wear on the tool and a longer processing time. The larger the pitch, the rougher the finish, but the quicker the punching time. 
as there are less hits to complete. As with G68 and G78, we can accomplish the same pattern as G69 nibbling line in the punching mode. This will be the focus of our next video. That covers G69 nibbling line. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below or email us directly at support at cncsoft.com. See you soon in the next video as we continue our punch programming course series. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications every time a new video is released.